INS Arihant from starting to end. The first Indian designed and built nuclear powered submarine, the 5,000 ton SSBN, ballistic missile carrying submarine, INS Arihant completed sea trials and entered service. This comes after 12 years of planning and construction. Arihant was supposed to enter service before the end of 2015 but there were more unforeseen technical problems to fix. Nevertheless Arihant was commissioned as a Navy ship in August 2016 even though it had not carried out its sea trials. These commenced in late 2016 and were successful. Arihant was launched in 2009 but completing the submarine kept running into problems. Nevertheless the success of Arihant led to an SSN, nuclear attack submarine, program, which is now underway. In 2015 India announced ambitious plans to build six nuclear attack submarine but admits development and building will probably take at least 15 years. One locally made nuclear submarine doesn't change the balance of naval power much for India, which is already dominant in the region but it does show that India can build nuclear submarines and six nuclear attack submarine will make a difference. There are also plans to build five more ballistic missile carrying submarine based on the experience with Arihant. Meanwhile in March 2016 India successfully tested its new K-4 SLBM, sea-launched ballistic missile, under realistic conditions. This consisted of a submerged silo, like the one used in a submarine, that successfully released the missile at realistic depth. The missile reached the surface, ignited its rocket motor and completed its ballistic flight as it was designed to do. Several more successful tests like this are required before K-4 can enter service. K-4 is based on the Agni-3 land-based ballistic missile, which has been in service since 2010. Both the Agni-3 and K-4 have a range of 3,500 km. K-4 is a 20-ton, two-stage, solid-fuel missile that carries a one-ton warhead. Arihant was built to carry nuclear-armed K-4 or K-15 ballistic missiles designed and manufactured in India. Arihant has four vertical launch tubes, which can carry 12, 3 per launch tube, of the smaller K-15 missiles or four larger K-4S. The Arihant is based on the Russian Charlie II submarine, which it resembles. The Charlie class had eight launch tubes, outside the pressure hull, for anti-ship missiles. Arihant has a crew of 9106 533 mm 21 inch, torpedo tubes in addition to the four vertical missile launch tubes. Two more Arihants are under construction. In early 2013 the K-15 missile underwent its final development test and was ready to be installed in the Arihant. This came after five years of testing and tweaking. In 2007, India announced that it had perfected the technology for launching ballistic missiles from a submerged submarine. That meant the silo design had been perfected as well. In 2008, India began a series of 12 test firings from a missile cell designed to fit into the Arihant. These test firings were not done from the Arihant but from the cell placed in the ground or underwater to simulate launch from the submarine. Seven launches took place in 2008. The 7-ton K-15 has a 700-km range with a 1-ton warhead or 1,900km with a 189kg warhead. The latter weight is sufficient to handle a nuclear warhead if India has been successful in developing warhead technology to the same point the US and Russia were in the 1980s. Thank you for watching. Please, like, share, comment and subscribe.